When it comes to social media and your divorce process, I would advise to try your best to absolutely not involve social media when it comes to discussions during your divorce process. You will have people that are on there that you forget that will go and share it with your husband and you, you know, you might have posted a video that you thought was harmless but it talks about a dad abandoning his family or something like that and dad's going to see that and it's going to set him off or something like that. So the best advice is to not use social media during your divorce process. If you during the divorce case, there's not necessarily a quote unquote consequence. I mean, if it was pretty severe information that was posted on there or something that was, you know, reached the level of, you know, defamation of character or something like that, or if your spouse controls a business and you posting whatever this topic might have been could cause a damage to their reputation and their business, that would be something that would probably be taken a little bit more serious by the court. But overall, you, you wouldn't want to post something on social media that is basically, you know, asking for more issues in your case. If we're trying to reach a resolution and somebody goes and posts a horrible story on their social media page about something that involves the father or anybody in the case, that could destroy your settlement. You know, we could always fix it and hopefully get it back in place, but divorce is very sensitive and both sides are going to be sensitive about things that are being said about them during that process. And so that's why my best advice is just to refrain as much as you can from discussing your divorce on social media.